Banks offer charge cards to make interest off consumer purchases. Now credit unions are in the game, too. Forty credit unions in Texas are now offering master charge cards to their members. In the past, only banks have offered the cards. But that changed when 160 credit unions banded together and bought Town North Bank in Dallas last year. Now the credit unions have a so-called window bank, and they're using it to offer new services to their members, a fact some banks aren't exactly happy about. Right now, we're not on the same ground rules. Uh, there are differences in, in uh, uh, the examining group, the people who audit it, who make sure that the loans and the procedures are proper. There's a difference in the, in the taxing function. Uh, and if, if those differences were resolved, and if I could play by the same rules as all my competitive forces were, I would welcome all competitive forces. The competition in the master charge field comes in the interest credit unions will be charging on their cards. It will be 12% a year, one-third lower than bank cards. But there's a disadvantage, too. Banks give a consumer about 30 days grace before charging interest on a purchase. The credit unions will charge interest as soon as they get the receipts for a purchase. They see it as a good deal for everybody. Competition is competition, and it's a, it's a healthy situation. Uh, this, these are small loans, small consumer type loans that people are getting and uh, sometimes banks really aren't interested in this, this small amount of loan business we're talking about. About a third of current cardholders pay off their balance before any interest is charged. But if a consumer carries a balance for more than three months, it could be an advantage to carry a credit union bank card. It could also be an advantage to carry two cards, one from your credit union and one from your bank. That would make your wallet a little fatter, and perhaps a little thinner, too. Byron Harris, Channel 8 News.